Hello everyone, thank you for watching Edubita World videos. Now, in this part 4 of our basics of change and transport system, in this video we are going to learn about the transport layers and the transport routes. So in the last video, we have come across the term transport route. A route is nothing but it's the connection, the way in which the data flows from one system to another. Okay, so we'll learn more about the layers and the transport routes in this video. Now, all development projects developed in the same SAP system and transported on the same transport routes are grouped together to form a transport layer. Okay. So, in a particular development system, you can do any developments. Okay. One is related to SD, one is related to finance or whatever it is. And in, in the part 2 video of this CTS basics, we have come across the term packages. So whenever you are trying to build anything new in the repository data, first you create a package and later if, in, if it's in the same you know, process like in SD or finance, then if you build new objects, then you add them to the existing package. Similarly, like we can have n number of development projects in the SAP system. Okay, so these projects are developed and transported on the same transport routes that are grouped together to form a transport layer. Before you start the first development project, you create a transport layer in the TMS transport route editor. This transport layer is assigned to a development system and it's the standard transport layer. So first before transporting, what you do in a transport route that is from development to quality you have the transport route data flows from development to quality so you create one transport layer and this layer you assign it to the development system as the stranded transport layer objects delivered by SAP belong to the transport layer SAP other transport layers are generally only needed when new development systems are included in the system group so SAP we have certain objects which are delivered by SAP okay so they use their default transport layer SAP and all other transport layers generally from the development to QA they use one particular transport layer and say you have created one more development system okay so then probably you will have to create one more transport layer after you have set up the transport layer you set up the transport routes there are two types of transport routes first you set up the consolidation route and then you set up the delivery routes now yes now i have my transport layer now so next what you do in setting up this tms configuration you set up transport routes we have two routes one is consolidation and the other is the delivery route what is this consolidation route to make your changes transportable set up a consolidation route for each transport layer specify your development system as the starting point that is the source of this consolidation routes and specify the quality assurance system as the target target in a two system landscape specify the production system as the transport target so here it is so when you have the development and the QA so first you have the other systems production etc so what do you do you create a transport layer okay SAP has its own transport layer that is SAP for all the other developments which we make the custom developments we create a new transport layer so the route from development to quality is known as the consolidation route this is in a three system landscape say mine is only two system landscape then from you have the development and QA on one system so the target will be production but in a real time scenario we, we will have generally a three system landscape so always the route from the development to, to the QA is known as the consolidation route. Now, any object 
any modified object that have a consolidation node set up for their transport layer are included in the transportable change request after the request has been released the objects can be imported into the consolidation system okay so generally a change request this consolidation route is also a part of the details of the change request okay so once it is released it is ready to be imported into the target system that's the, the qa the consolidation system if you make changes to the objects which have a lower consolidation route defined for their transport layer then the changes are automatically local change requ requests they are classified as local change requests you cannot transport them into other sap systems so in your change request if you have forgotten to include uh, this transport route okay so for their transport layer you should have a corresponding transport route then only that request sap knows like yes my source system is dev and the target is qa so by mistake or knowingly if you don't specify any transport route for this transport layer then those change requests are known as local change requests any request which is classified as local change request it cannot be imported into the target system okay it cannot be transported you can set up one consolidation route only for each sap system and the transport layer okay so from this dev to this qa you have only one consolidation route okay now delivery routes after you have imported your development work into the quality assurance system you then want to transport it into your production system you may even want to transport it into several sap system for example additional training systems to do this you have to set up the delivery routes okay now the transport has moved from the development to the qa using the consolidation route now you want to transport it into production and other systems also so that routes it's known as the delivery route delivery routes have a source system and a target system when you set up a delivery route you are making sure all the change requests that are imported into the route source system are automatically flagged for import into the routes target system okay so consolidation route means the development is made it is it is for the transport layer you have set up in your system landscape you are attaching a consolidation route and you are doing an import now for delivery route whatever change request is imported into the source system of this delivery route that is the qa they are automatically assigned a target system also okay that is generally the production system you can set up several delivery routes with the same source system and different target systems parallel forwarding you can also set up delivery routes in sequence that is multi level forwarding see from one qa okay you can send it to the production system directly here you have only one delivery route and from that production system you are sending it to the other production systems or it can be in the del uh, the demo or training from the production system generally in a real time scenario what they do from development it's imported into qa and then it goes into production so from that production it can go into other productions or the other systems okay or from the qa you can send it to other development systems or whatever it is and from then again you send it into qa and production understand so you have from one system you can have multiple systems here so you'll have multiple delivery routes here you have only a single route where it goes from one system so here again you have a parallel forwarding okay one system it's going into two different systems okay so from one system we can have n number of delivery routes so the request can be imported into different other systems also now a cts transport control make sure that all requests from the development systems are flagged for import into all other sap systems in the same order in which they were exported now the the cts okay it it takes care the tms takes care that 
the way in which the export the import the request is exported in the same order they are imported into the target system also so once that's why when you open the tms transaction in your sap and if you check the imports of any system you will generally have all the imports they are sorted on the time on which they are exported okay this is important since different requests can contain the same repository object or the same customizing settings at different development levels you must avoid overwriting a more recent version with an older version so we have seen version management in an earlier video every object has some version that is first you have made one change version 1 next again you have made some change that is version 2 again third time you have made some more change that is version 3 okay so for every change you have a change request okay so this version 1 2 and 3 should go in a sequence okay so depending upon the changes made in version 1 I have made some changes to version 2 so that's why 3 shouldn't go first and then 2 it's always the sequence okay so the sequence of import is very important in SAP it's not only for the same object but several objects might have some dependencies okay so object A is dependent on B okay in that case B should go and then only A should go you can't import A first and then B that is why in while importing you should consider the sequence of import okay blindly nobody should do the imports in the order which we want okay we have to strictly follow the order for doing the imports especially in a production system that's very 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 important so now in the delivery route you can activate multiple delivery routes in sequence you can choose any sap systems in the system group as the source system of the delivery routes they do not have to be the consolidation systems this allows you to implement complex chain of transport routes so in a delivery route so from one system you can forward it to n number of systems okay and you'll have multiple delivery routes in sequence also so from production it can go into the demo box or the training box or the sandbox or whatever it is now multi-level delivery here you can activate multiple delivery routes in sequence you can choose any sap system it's what so this is nothing but multi-level delivery okay multi-level multi-level delivery means multiple delivery routes which are activated in sequence so, so see this is a classic example so here, here you have a development box you have a QA okay so ZDEV is the transport uh, layer okay so this is assigned a consolidation route now from QA it goes into production that's a delivery route from this production it is again sent to different other production systems so those are all again delivery routes now in this example ZDEV1 is the layer from this development to the quality box okay so it's assigned a consolidation route from this quality again it is going to other development systems okay so from that each development system again it's going into a QA system okay now they have different transport layers again okay and we have only they have that consolidation routes also again from there it goes into different production systems these are the delivery routes okay so we have two types of routes one is the del consolidation and delivery consolidation means if from, from where the development is made it's moving into the quality system so that's the consolidation route okay and delivery route it can be configured from any source system to any target system say it can be from quality to production or production to production or production to demo or whatever it is okay so consolidation route dev to quality okay or in a two system landscape dev to production that is consolidation delivery 
यू कैन ट्रांसपोर्ट फ्रॉम क्यू ए टू प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन टू प्रोडक्शन और प्रोडक्शन टू टेस्ट डेमो वॉट एवर इट इज एंड कंसल्टेशन मीन्स यू हैव ओनली वन सोर्स एंड वन टारगेट हाउ वन डिलीवरी यू कैन हैव वन सोर्स एंड मल्टीपल टारगेट्स ओके दिस इज द केस वन सोर्स एंड यू हैव मल्टीपल टारगेट्स दट्स द डिलीवरी रूट ओके सो एंड द अदर थिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हियर इज द ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर ओके सो बिफोर एनी development project is started in a development system so you create a transport layer okay so if you don't specify the transport layer and the transport route okay so then that request will be considered as local change request only okay say like you have developed something here and you don't attach this consolidation route for this transport layer c d v 1 then that request will be here only it cannot be imported at all so those requests are known as local change requests okay so for the change request to move ahead you should assign a route for that layer okay from in the development system so you should do that that is important and here see from this development box again it's going into a different quality box so you create a new transport layer again okay so for each development to quality you have a transport layer that is a consolidation route okay please remember that and the all the other routes they generally form the delivery routes that is qa to production or production to production or whatever it is okay so here we have learned about different terms like what's a transport layer a transport route we have two types of transport routes consolidation and delivery okay and we have learned about multi level delivery okay so activating multiple delivery routes in sequence okay so this is about transport layers and transport routes that's why generally like after installation when you configure tms in that system landscape you build all these okay and initially only we should create the transport we should establish the transport routes and we should set up the transport layer and corresponding routes initially okay that is important thank you